right so what I'm gonna do is that um, I'm gonna create um, I'm gonna open the file that I was working with um, uh, in the 2016 specimen paper 3 uh, under section web authoring so that we just use it for demonstration purposes so I'll go open front page and then I'll go to file then open and then browse to desktop my work area and then open uh, this one so this is the file that we have been working on so what we want to do is to create uh, an anchor so that um, it takes us back to the top of the page okay so there are two ways that you can do this you can do this uh, in design mode or you can do this in split mode so in design mode it's actually easy because you just have to select the location where you want the anchor to be so in in our case i want at least the anchor to be in to take us back to the first part of um, um, the to the somewhere to the logo when someone clicks at the bottom there it should take them back to the top there no now what you notice like in this in this web page um, there was um, there was an existing anchor okay so if you go to um, uh, to preview and then if you click here it says click here to return to top of the page if I click there it takes me to top of the page so that is the anchor that I'm talking about that was already existing but we can go ahead and put in our own anchor as well there so to be able to put in an anchor select the place which you want uh, uh, where you want the program to go to when the user clicks on a hyperlink so I've selected this part and I go to insert and then um, bookmark and then I'll, I'll call it top page top page uh, anchor okay top page anchor and say okay so once it goes to top page anchor if this was um, uh, done somewhere uh, just at the background color is hiding something so you can hardly see what is there but what happens when you put an anchor or a bookmark let me just just for the sake of demonstrating let me just show you what happens or what should be visible how should you know that there is a bookmark there so just put the case at, at the end of world there I will remove this just for demonstration purposes I remove this so insert then uh, uh, bookmark and then put in the name of the bookmark and I will just say demo and automatically you see that there will be a flag that will be there so this flag is actually the one that shows you that there is um, some text that is rather there is a bookmark that is there so um, uh, it should also show here uh, the only thing in the only reason it wouldn't show is because you have got this white uh, rather black background so I'm gonna just remove this one just delete it and then uh, the next thing you're supposed to do is now to create a hyperlink so this is uh, click here click here to go to top okay click here to go to top then you select the text that you have to um, that the person has to click and create a hyperlink so this time you are not choosing bookmark you're choosing hyperlink and then there are other uh, links that you can you can link to existing file or web page you can link to place in this document you can link to a new document you can link to an email address in this case we want to link to a place in this document then under bookmarks you see that the anchor that you created is there so click on top page anchor and then click ok and you see that this one is going to be hyperlink but when you click on it it will take you to the page so let's browse this one in a browser now um, just say yes um, let it open in a browser so if I scroll to this part and I say there you see that it takes me to the top of the page okay so it may not fully be the top of the page because it really just measures and take you um, but this one takes you to the top of the page but this one the one we just created takes you just closer to the top of the page because the anchor is somewhere around here but it needs to be outside there so let me go back um, to, um, to uh, design view and then let's go to the anchor so let's go to uh, split view code and then um, let's look for the anchor that we just created which is top page anchor so it's supposed to be this one here top page anchor so just highlight this one and uh, delete it from there okay or let me just cut it from there okay so once you cut it from there then you need to go where the body begins that's why this other anchor is just at the point at which the body begins which means just before this table okay which is slightly above so that's where you 
need to put your anchor as well so come back here and put in code a okay then name uh, equal to then you now provide the name of the anchor okay then close tag and then uh, close so the name of the anchor is actually um, top page um, anchor okay i hope that is the correct name that we gave it okay and then click on save and then go back to um, go back to your html refresh out to refresh and then yeah there you go so it takes you back to the top of the page okay so this is how you literally create um, the anchor so the first thing that um, let me just summarize it for you nicely the first thing that you need um, to be able to do first of all is to create a bookmark okay create a bookmark okay uh, give it um, give it the name required in the exam usually they say give it um, uh, maybe say top okay so once you do that then create um, create a hyperlink okay once you create this hyperlink uh, point it to point it to the um, place in the document in this document once you do that, then select uh, select from the list. Select under bookmark. Okay. The name of the uh, anchor. Okay. So under bookmark, the name of the anchor, which is actually top. E.g top okay select the one that you created and then there you go and then you have your your anchor created so i hope this has been informative for you and i um if you have any more questions just let me know all right so enjoy your day and uh, god bless